Hello everyone, this is Cinema and this is Johannes and you are watching Board Gaming Ramblings and welcome to another top 10 list. Today we are taking a look at our top 10 tile placement games. Yes. That includes um, like tile placement as a main mechanism or as one of the mechanisms. Yeah, it yeah. should. For me, I've taken like games where I feel like it's a important and, and big part one, of the yeah, game yes not like oh you place this one tile on the on the board one time in the game yes it's like, set up no, like for kidding. example in lords of water deep i do take a building tile and i place it somewhere but it's yeah. not a tile placement game yes even though it has that thing in it so you might you might even disagree with some of this but we will see how that goes yeah but, the uh, last uh, list that we made mm -hmm. was auction games yes. and i'm not the fan of that no so making this list was like so different because yeah. uh, there were so many amazing games to choose from. I'm, I'm wondering how many crossovers we have. Yeah, it was not like you had to scrape to find like the 10th no. one, like in no. Board Game Geek, oh, page 65. I would have liked like... this list uh, to be a top 10, 20. I would easily make one with like amazing games in top That's like 20. the fun of the top 10 since you make them hard oh, so that yeah, you have to choose. Oh yeah, it was really hard to choose. So it's yes. going to be interesting. How many crossovers do you think we have? I think we have five or six. Yeah, that's the same I think. Mm. So we will see. So who should begin? Rock, mm, paper, scissors. Okay, yeah. Rock, paper, scissors. No, it's... Uh, it's oh, yeah, okay. I think it's one, two, three, and boom, I think. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Wait, wait, okay. Rock, one, paper, two, scissors, three. boom. Rock, paper, scissors, boom. Ha, ah, I you begin. got me on the double, but yes. what I'm doing to you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so who's starting then? I'm beginning. Okay, yeah. My number 10 is an amazing game from 2017. This is a kind of underrated game. Um, I'm starting to deduce Yeah, already. it's an underrated game. Uh, it is by a designer who gave out four games the same year. Oh, oh yeah, um, uh, it's a uh, riverboat. Yeah, is this a new thing we're gonna do? Like, get oh, yeah, the other place? Oh yeah, yeah, it was fun. <laughs> it is riverboat. My number ten is riverboat. This is a this is one of those like perfect medium games where it's just like so cozy to play it, but you still have decisions. And the tile placement here is kind of simple, but it's a big part of the game. Placing the uh, the vegetable tiles uh, in to to get them in the right order to get them adjacent to each other to get them working with the huts and the uh, the wells and all of that like trying to get that board the best possible with the randomness or you have to place it on spades or you have to place it on hearts it's like two parts of mm -hmm. the type placement yeah first like figuring out where you have the placement placement available yeah and then buying the right tiles to place there or, oh yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah that's true so they huh. it's just it's it's very very it, yeah, it's, yeah, because you, yeah, it's true. It's a double. Mm. You first place basically tile placement with dudes, yeah. and then you overlap them with tiles. But you're yes. basically planning ahead to that tile placement, so it feels like it's the same kind of. It feels like a one whole tile placement mechanism. It's a very good game. If you have not played it, I think you should get it. It was kind of overshadowed by Heaven and Ale, by Azul, especially. They also had Reworld uh, that same year, which was not that good. But it's it, it's an amazing game. It's my number 10, Riverboat. Yeah, Riverboat is a really good game. I love Riverboat. And my number 10 is Carpe Diem. Oh, uh, I forgot I'm the guessing, guessing part. it's going to be Carpe oh, Diem. Oh, you have to. Okay, remind me next time. Yes. Uh, this no, is no, uh, a great game by Stefan Felt. Yeah. Um, what I love about Carpe Diem is like, you're going in this little grid and then choosing choosing the tile that you mm -hmm, want to place mm -hmm. and then you're placing it mm -hmm. onto your grid as a tile placement. Yes. But what I really love is the scoring part of mm -hmm. this game. And that is what makes this game interesting. Mm -hmm. And also what leads me to decisions of what tiles I want to get to try to get to a scoring that I can use and it gets so tight yeah. because the scoring, like the opportunities get less and less and Maybe you get scoring that you can't even use. Mm -hmm. uh, you get negative points then. Yeah, so a simple game but also crunchy. Yeah, this is one, it's a really neat one because it is a very, it's a lighter seven tile yeah. game, but that, as you said, that scoring mechanism, it just makes it meaty. Yes, absolutely. I really love it. And the tile placement is indeed very important and yeah. a big part of the game. So my number nine then is Carcassonne Plus. Yeah. So Isle of Sky. Yes, you don't need more than that. Nah. It is basically a Carcassonne when you having to pay for tiles and deciding what tiles should be uh, it should cost. And after that, it's basically a tile placement like in Carcassonne, but you have your own uh, area that you place your tiles in. So you make your own you make your own kind of, of land, uh, not music, just land. <laughs> uh, and it's 
it's very interesting because you have these four scorings or five, uh, four or five scorings mm. that alternate being used. So some early four. in the game, these might be very good tiles and then later not that good because you have already scored them once. And there's just so many nice things. The addition of having to buy other players' tiles, trying to outbid people so that they don't buy your tile if you really need it or if they will buy it, you will get the money so you can buy other tiles. There's just mm. so many nice things there. I, I, I love I love the game. Uh, we, yeah. It has actually a lot of expansions and we haven't played any of them. Oh yeah, the first, uh, what do you call it, impression that I got of Isle of mm -hmm. Sky was kind of boring. Mm -hmm. I was just like, what is the deal with this? Rather play Carcassonne. But then second time when we really got into like the depth of the scoring mm -hmm. and also like tried to, oh, this is actually worth this for me mm. so you're you're figuring out more what you want from the game yeah. so i think those additional elements other than the time laying, laying actually yeah. is the most interesting makes, but yeah, yeah. yes but, but the tiling mm. is also very important absolutely. it makes the game yes. as good as it is like it, it, all the parts together absolutely yeah, yeah a great game so my number nine is oh okay i'm going to yeah i was we don't almost, have we don't have to guess on all of them but. real time Oh, Sorcerer City. Yes, <laughs> that was easy. Yeah, this is like a unique game. Very much this so, yeah. This is tiling, but in real time. Uh -huh. And after you're building like a magic city, mm -hmm. and you're trying to get colors to match, and it's really stressful, and then you score, yeah. and then you take them all back and do it again, mm -hmm. just in shorter time. And you buy new tiles, and there's monster tiles that makes it harder for you. And we just have a lot of fun playing this game. It's really hard when you play it like in expert mode, mm -hmm. then you kind of can't think about what you're playing. No, the last levels, but the yes, last rounds yeah. basically are very quickly. But a, always like a, a lot of fun to play this game. It's an amazing game, go check it out. So my number eight then is another it, it's one of the, the, the ones you would think is on this list. Mm. Should, should I guess off of that? No, no, because then you might guess something yeah, else. Yeah, then I would it's just like about, go to... It's about animals. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, is so, it in a zoo or something? It's bear in part. Yeah. Like, what other, do you have a lot of them? Do you have like all the rest of your list is about animals? Yeah. Like, yeah, it's the rest of animals. Oh, it's Baron Park. Baron yeah. Park is a great game. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I like so much the placement, like you're trying to puzzle out the, the board as much as possible, but where you place also gives you the possibilities for the next mm. rounds because you place and then you get to then get a new board or you get to get new animals or new bears. And it's just, it's a very, Neat game. It has a horrible set of time because you have to stack all these tiles on this all these different places. Don't like that. But the game is very, very good. We, again, again, it has expansions that I would like to play, but I haven't. Yes, Great game. Uh, like this dual thinking when you place just where is the best place for this piece, but mm -hmm. also what can I then get for placement further is mm -hmm. really nice. I enjoy Burn Park as well. And then next up, my number eight. Mm -hmm. This is. How do I describe this game? Uh, are we... You don't have to guess all of them. I, I thought say. it was fun. Oh. Uh, are we a majority? No, Ginkopolis. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So this is. I wouldn't have guessed that from a real majority. No, I don't know. I... It has a real majority, but I wouldn't have thought about it. It has. I really like Ginkopolis. It's awesome. It's it's a different take on tile management for me. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. very unique, innovative, in innovative game. Yeah. Uh, where you you place tiles, but it's also placing it like in the e height. You can do that, yeah. yeah. And then you, it's also more expensive, but you also then get more of your cubes on there, which makes like you're trying to get a lot of cubes in a certain color so that you're controlling the area and placing the tiles. Just what tiles you place and where them you place them are really mm -hmm. important. Yes, absolutely. Do you understand any of the things that I'm saying? I do because I have played the game. Yeah. I don't know if, if anybody else it's understood anything. It's a very anything. good game. It is, and the new reprint actually was just uh, released, so nice. you can go and check We've that out. We've done a playthrough of it as well. Uh, yes, did you do that? Mm -hmm. Like the quarantine playthrough? Yes, I think so. So horrible quality, good game. Good game. <laughs> <laughs> so that is Ginkopolis, yes. and my number seven is a game that you just have to have more of. What? What? Oh, Glenmore? Yeah, number two. <laughs> Glenmore. Too. Yeah, so you have to have <laughs> oh, more. Oh, that was fun. More, more. Glenmore too. And uh, Glenmore was fun when I played it. We only played it once. Mm. I enjoyed it. Then Glenmore 2 came around and I really enjoyed it. Like we have the time mechanism for, for example, patchwork, which is really great. 
and and you have this tile placement and important it's so important where you place them mm. because you activate tiles depending on where you place tiles and you 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 make like this action selection tile laying placement for yourself where you move around dudes and you do different actions depending on the as I said the placement and where you place them placement and where you place them it's the yes. same thing but a lot of things to think about i enjoy this and the chronicles one the new one has a lot of different chronicles that makes like mini expansions which makes the games more interesting and i i, I like this game a lot oh yeah this is for sure a solid game and like where you place the solid oh yeah solid good good yeah very good i i like that game a lot and then we have number seven and it's a city building game is it uh Carcassonne? no is so it... You didn't think that. No, I'm just really? saying. Really? Is it... It could be f multiple here now. Is it all your stories? No. <laughs> this is Quadropolis. Oh, yeah. Uh, that I makes more sense. Yeah. <laughs> you don't place tiles in all your stories. That was a joke. Yeah, I, yes. I know. But I thought we were joking like in the no, no, tile no. placement. I'm just, no, I'm just making like a running, uh, running joke out going of the park. further. Okay, yes. Yeah. Um, Quadropolis is one of our favorite tile, uh, what do you call it, gateway games. It's also one of your favorite tile games. That is true. Because this is Nothing list. is wrong with my sentences. <laughs> no. Yes. So, um, both like choosing the tiles that mm -hmm. you want with these like arrows that you point in the direction and then you can get one of those tiles, but also then that tile that, that arrow dictates where on your map that you can set it it's, it's actually really interesting. a number because oh, yeah. that tells you Thank what you. tile you can type yeah an arrow would <laughs> an be arrow, really hard like yes. this arrow is this way okay. that means i can place yeah. it i i like you still yeah so <laughs> arrows and numbers just say thingies that's well, your thing yeah thingies so i but i like that maybe i want to grab that tile uh -huh. but to grab that tile i need number four mm -hmm. but then i have to place it in my area number four and yes. that doesn't work out no nope. i think that is really cool and also like the synergies with how each uh, building works with scoring and where you place it in the city excellent game absolutely and it has that great thing where you have a basic version of the game and an advanced version yes. of the game so it's just like it's a lot of replayability a great family game like a good gateway game and just a lot of fun absolutely adore the game yeah and then my number six is the the game that should be here it's patchwork and yeah it's absolutely. a great two-player tiling game which i am horrible at you basically they're like they, you have limited options of what tiles you can take and this is just this is just a puzzle there's nothing mm. else like you just want to do the puzzle mm. of course yeah like if you want to get buttons if you want to use time like that aspect but it's the only reason to place tiles is the puzzle yes to fill in as much much of your board as you can so it's not like anything added like in baron park it doesn't have any of that it's just a pure puzzle mm. but it's a very good puzzle i like patchwork yeah it's like one of the obvious choices for this list it's so good i'm gonna guess it's on your list some, no some. it's no uh, yeah so and <laughs> my next game is a legacy game it's my city yeah it is and this should basically be like on the top i love this game but it's one negative side you can't it's a legacy game so uh -huh. when you play the legacy version the base game isn't like isn't that addictive no, to me? No, that's uh, not yeah. like part of the fun. So, I, I love this. I This was like one of my favorite games from 2020. It was. I, this just took me by surprise. Is it like building like your city with Tetriminos? Yeah. And then something happens at the end of the lazy game and you just do the same things with uh, some rules and new additions added and it's so addictive. It's very good. It's very good. Yeah, it's one of the best games yes. from last year. It was in my top 20 as well. Like it was a big surprise, or to use your words, it took me out of nowhere. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it, it, it's a very, very good game. Like one of those, I think, lots of people maybe you don't like. Usually, the Ryan Knizia games. Mm -hmm. Like we are not like, oh, Ryan Knizia is the best. I enjoy many of his games. Most I played, I have mm -hmm. enjoyed. Uh, but you don't like actively seek out all of his designs. Mm -hmm. But this was so different, and and just a lot of fun. It was very fun to see a dry storyless oh, yeah. um, legacy game with just was the mechanisms mm. evolving really love it yes. i agree with you it's an amazing game then my number five is heaven and Aid. oh yeah yes the other one from from uh, from uh, michael kisling uh with tile placement from that year here the tile placement is a lot freer and a lot uh, crunchier than in riverboat 
Here you like you had two sides of your board, one which will basically net you income and one mm. will net you possibility to score points. It's not going to get you points, but it's going to get you the possibility to maybe score some points like if that. you play the game yeah. correctly. And it has so many neat things. And the tile placement is important because there are different numbers on the tiles and you want to get the right amount of numbers around different sheds so you can get those sheds that are the best but at the same time you also want to try to get low numbers around some mm. sheds and also you want to try to place the monks so that they can activate the best uh, different uh, tiles so that you can do them better times and you also yeah. want to, uh, to get the points or the possibility of points and money you need both because you, if you don't have money you can't get points and if you don't have points you don't win the game uh, there's so much stuff going on and it's an amazing game love it so much yeah me and heaven and nail are not friends uh, i tend to score like negative points I think. <laughs> the last time i actually you won by a yeah, lot yes i actually got the game but i think if i was sitting down and playing it now uh-huh I would not remember anything and score badly again. But wow, this is a is a very good game, but uh -huh. so heavy for an me. Egg. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah. heavy, an so heavy, and an an ale. Egg. <laughs> okay, my number five. We're getting our first crossover oh. today, and it's Isle of Sky. Yes. Yes. So you like yeah. it a bit more than yeah. I do. For this, I didn't think you liked it that much. Yeah, I just fit it in there. Yeah. Oh yeah, so you, you have started liking it more than you did. Yeah. Because I remember you not being a fan of the game. Yeah, but every time like I'm, I'm thinking about when we started making this list, uh -huh. some games just instantly popped into my yeah. head as yeah. tiling games. Mm -hmm. And uh, Isle of Sky was one of them. And I recently, um, what do you call it, recommended Isle of Sky yeah. to some friends that uh -huh. wanted a little more meteor than Carcassonne family game. Yeah. And I just think that it's great for so many purposes. Mm -hmm. I. But do it you like it? Like really this, should, this is me. your list. Yeah, I like it. Good because yes. this isn't ten games that have a top placement in them. No, um, then we would have a problem because <laughs> then I would. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I was yes. just surprised because I, I didn't know you liked it that much. Yeah, but so should we try to get one of the expansions maybe because that would be. Fun. Oh yeah, that would be fun. But I, I, I when I made this list, mm -hmm. I. I haven't like done my top 50 and then like no, ticked no, no, off no, the tiling no. elements. I've tried to think of which one that I really think makes the tile mm -hmm. placement in the game shine. Yeah. And yeah, I don't know. No, no, but I agree. I was just surprised. So my number four is a game I actually had on the last list as well. Mm. And that is an auction game. Yes. Mm. It can only be one, oh. I think. Hmm. But you didn't have that. It's a Princess of Florence. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it has a very neat tile placement about element. Age of Steam, right? It now. has a tile placement element where you place buildings on this very small map, mm. and you cannot place buildings adjacent to other buildings, and you're trying to also place the other the parks and everything as good as possible. And it's tight. You don't get to place very many tiles, but it's a very it's a big part of the game because mm. that's all you score. Is based on what you have on that that land and it's very very tight very interesting love that puzzle great it makes the game like a lot of the game is because of that tight placement and i love the game it's so tight it's yes. like one of the tightest like spatial puzzles yeah. that i've experienced because mm -hmm. yeah your buildings can't be to get like adjacent but they're like have so clunky mm -hmm. like inconvenient sizes almost like they did it on purpose to yeah. make it hard <laughs> but a great game absolutely amazing game uh, then we have the other um, crossover of today it's Baron Parks I okay. like this game a lot as well it's a great one it's been a while since we played it I think oh, we should yeah, maybe really want to play it again maybe we should like write a list of games that we should get expansions for oh yeah because there are great expansions for one of these games yes if you have tried any of these expansions that uh -huh. we're fabling about buying please let us know Know what you think about them and if they're worth buying and we're gonna like we don't have that many crossovers but because i'm gonna continue yeah. not having crossovers yeah with you. i was like realizing the same thing mm -hmm. thing my number three is the castles of burgundy yeah this is just like man love the game the top placement is the game yeah uh, just so much fun love the game cannot wait to play it in the playthrough series to be able to play it again great great game Number three, Call of the Burgundy, done. Yeah, my number three is another crossover. So it's... you you might have like five crossovers with me. Ah, uh, yeah, that is true. Um, oh, I forgot. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Patchwork. Yes, Patchwork. I would have guessed yes. that. So <laughs> Patchwork is your number yeah. three. My number two then is a Feast for Odin. 
Oh, cool, cool, this cool. is a great big heavy game uh, and it has that spatial puzzle basically from Patchwork. I'm pretty sure like Patchwork came out of building uh, Fist for Odin for Ivy Rosenberg. And all the, of his Centromino games. Yes, he like, got insanely addicted them. to that. Uh, but it's an amazing game and of course it has the worker placement, it has a lot of other things. But you won't win the game if you don't place your tiles in a great way. So you need to get the right tiles and you need to place them in the right way both on your board, on the different island boards, uh, on the sheds, on the longhouses. There's just so many ways to place those tiles. And you have to place them in a great way, in a great placement and it's a fun game and I want to play it all the time. It's yeah, and do great. you want to go for the income? Do you want to go for covering up the negative points or do you want to go for the bonuses? There's a lot of possibilities here and yeah. a lot of restrictions as well well absolutely a, a, an amazing game it is then we have my number two you can you can guess this as well this is also a real-time game it's oh, yeah. a game where you crash and burn no, no it's character driven yeah <laughs> i don't need any more hints no um this is no surprise no this is yeah just a shining gem for me it's a game that i always love can take a little long time with a lot of players but Building your ship mm -hmm. with these tiles and then like being your hand being your crane and crane turning bird. one of yes. one tile and be like, oh no, I need another gun. Oh no. Uh, like uh, and trying to be as fast as possible mm -hmm. and then going into the unknown space and just looking at your own ship and your opponent's ship like just get blasted to pieces mm -hmm. and realize that you didn't have any space for the cargo. Um, so you should have looked at those cards. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I love this game. <laughs> it's somebody, so fun. somebody has suggested to us to do a Vladis Bottle a playthrough series. That would be. And fun. that would be really fun because it has so many different games. Yeah, I love it. Like blah, blah. through the ages and Dungeon Pets, Dungeon Lords. We haven't played. We have so many. It has so many different games. That might actually be a very interesting designer yeah, and it's so to to play. Funny, like his rule books and the theme of this yeah. game. Like you're driving around in sewer parts. I, I just it's, love it's the guy. It's amazing. Yeah. yeah. So my number two. Uh, no, my number one. We're at number you're one number already. Number one. Yeah. So my number one is a. It's a nostalgic game, but it's still a very great uh, tile placement game. It is Suburbia. Oh yeah. Uh, because yeah. this is the most thematic uh, tile placement game I ever played. I remember. That was before I understood I didn't like theme, and that was when I heard about it, like so many things. I remember Tom Vassell had a review and I was like, it's so cool with the thematics. That's not my impression of Tom Vassell, he's not doing this. Uh, I should also have a hat, or else it wouldn't be a Tom Vassell impression. Nope. Uh, but it's it's just so good, and it has this, it's especially good with two, although it must be two and three players. But the top placement is so thematic and makes sense. It's like nobody wants to live beside the, the, the garbage dump. Nobody wants to live beside the 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 airport, mm. and people want to have the shops beside where they live and beside their office. And it's just so many things to think about. I love how the tiles interact with each other in this grid that you can make, kind of make out yourself. Just such a cool game. I would love to play it more. It's just like there's just so many games. Yeah, we, and we have, have the all the expansions. Collector's this. edition or yeah. what it's called. It looks it's a, it's amazing. It's, it's a big box. It's a big box, but it looks really good. And, it's a good and game. also I like how my tiles are sometimes interacting with your yes. city um, or your and part in my of the city. city. So if you play my city and it can interact with suburbia. <laughs> I would love to see that. No, <laughs> I would. Yeah. So my number one, mm -hmm. you know what that is because it hasn't been on the list already. Is it a crossover? Yeah, it is. I don't remember that you because you haven't it's... heard. We started with a Stefan Feld. We're ending. Oh, Castle Burgundy, game. of course. Yes, yeah, 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 yes. yeah, 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 yeah. So I forgot the game. It just it's a Thailand game and it's one of my favorite games of all time. So mm -hmm. it it it's natural here. Um it's just amazing and I love how like the timing aspect of this game, like trying to get the tiles that you want, mm -hmm. but then place them out of the board so you get a bonus and also open up spaces for new tiles that come in. So yep. I I just think this is a very good game, obviously. Obviously, obviously. yeah. So we did, I think we had four crossovers. Yeah, I think we had four as well. Uh, one, two, three, four. Isle of Sky, Baron Park, Patchwork, Costa Burgundy. Yes, that's right. Four. So those are actually then 20... 16. Oh, but there's so many good games. There are. This is so I didn't get to have no. on my list. In the comments, what are your favorite oh. 
tile placement, tile laying games. I was just like so surprised because when I thought of this list, I was uh -huh. just like, oh, this going there, this going there. And then I was going through like the... the list of BDG, yeah. Yeah, and I was just like, what is that? Oh, that is also a tile laying game. And it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. is amazing. It was yeah. fun making this list. It was fun. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are still here and you haven't subscribed, please do that. It's yes. free. If you want to do something that's not free, go to patreon.com slash boardgamingramblings and you can support us there. Yes. It helps a lot. It's it also helps. fun. It's also fun. We have a Discord that is really, really fun. And it just helps us keep this going and helps us thank upgrade you. and make it better. So thank you to everybody who is supporting us there. It means everything. Yes. And of course, thank you for commenting. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking the videos. Please comment. Please like. Please subscribe. Please support us on Patreon. So that <laughs> is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Johannes. I'm Cinema. And you've been watching Board Gaming Ramblings. And bye-bye.